everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am drawing takahashi minami the fifth from akb 0048 which i guess at this point is an older anime and one that i don't think was super popular here in the states but i was really into it not when everybody else was into it i i i missed the hype train unfortunately um but, yeah, uh, this is an old sketch that I found in an old sketchbook because I, I have been in my office of old sketchbooks and I went through one of them and I found this one and I was like, oh hey, this is actually kind of cute. I don't hate it and decided to remake it. So here we are, uh, still no one I know is like, cares about this series but i liked it the music was great um there's an actual band called akb 48 which is the band they based the series off of and they actually use their music in the anime and it's it's really good i really like it i think I'm trying to think my favorite song i think is pioneer and beginner those are great. Um, and Takamina here was my favorite character. Like, I loved her so much. Uh, apparently not enough to uh, look up a reference picture, though. <laughs> at, at any point when I was, like, the original, I did not look up a reference picture for. And this new one, I also did not look at a reference picture until after I'd finished the line art because I was trying to figure out where because I couldn't remember exactly what colors went where so I was like oh well, let's look it up and then I realized that uh in neither version of this outfit of hers that I've drawn is actually anything like her actual outfit so that was a great discovery this is why you should use references kids but I mean, I don't think it's too terrible from essentially drawing it from memory. And apparently, I drew the original four years ago. So, uh, I apparently... My memory is apparently okay. Um, uh, so, uh, in the series, they have these little, like, magical, like, light creatures that float around. And they call them, uh, I think, Kilalas. Uh, and that's what that little creature thing is. Uh, don't get attached. Don't get attached. I ended up, I ended up hating it and just, just making a generic glowy blob by the end. Sorry. Sorry. I just couldn't make it cute enough. But I do like how her hair turned out. Like, really proud of that. Fantastic. Also, it's probably the most anime thing I have drawn ever just saying a lot because most of the art on this channel is anime related um anyway yes so obviously I have I'm still struggling with the uh, the voiceover thing that's fine I guess but more importantly I know I ask a lot for you to like leave comments about characters you want to see done um, I think more important than that right now is that Halloween will soon be upon us and you guys should give me ideas for like Halloween art you want to see I know Lavender Town does like creepy drastas where she just reads creepy pastas and illustrates something to go along with them and I have thought about doing that so if there's a story you would like me to read that's I guess YouTube friendly you should let me you should let me know and I will look into it maybe maybe it'll be what I do otherwise I'm gonna be left to my own devices to pick or if you want to see like if like you want to see me draw like vampires or ghosts or something you should also let me know I am I am cool with ideas right now because I personally have like too many I am thinking far too much about a lot of things 
So if you want to help give me some focus and give me ideas of things you would like to see, that would be lovely. Otherwise, I'm, we're just going to continue and I'm just going to post whatever the heck I want. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I don't have- I don't have a lot to say. Apparently I say anyway too much. I'm sorry. I guess turn it into a drinking game. <laughs> but I- I did really like AKB0048. Obviously, I made- I made art based off of it. Um, but I also found it at a time like I'd given up watching anime because college and I had some friends who were like really snooty about anime like they probably would not have approved of me watching an idol anime even if it was all featurey and sci-fi and they also would have like they were also really kind of strict about like keeping up with everything like if I wasn't 100% caught up with like all of the anime they were into then I they would just kind of be rude and mean and uh if it makes you feel any better I I do not hang out with those people anymore I kind of I couldn't take it anymore I just sort of ghosted them <laughs> and I actually don't feel bad about it um it was just it was just too much to handle and I gave up and so I had like one friend in college after that and uh I mean I did end up meeting some other people like post that who weren't like super upset if I didn't like care about anime or anything uh but then you know I finished college I think oh no yeah I finished college in 2015 and I worked at a dead-end job and granted I still do dead-end jobs because no one is hiring history degrees where I live anyway I was just really miserable a lot of the time and I think I'd seen a uh no I'd seen some people cosplaying from this series in particular and I thought it was cute and then I found out that it had like music and I was like oh okay that should be fun it's mostly gonna be like cute girls just dancing in cute costumes to music all right that'll be fine uh it's a lot more emotional than I was expecting <laughs> got me in the feels but I also finished both seasons in like a couple of days because I I liked it that much and so this is kind of the thing that got me over that slump of college and bad friends. Um, or at least got me back into anime after, you know, college and bad friends. So, I, I, I do like this series. It has a special place in my heart. Idol anime in general. I really like it. Um, and yeah, now I have nice friends who don't care if I'm all caught up on the anime they watch and will sometimes just suggest things to me and be like, hey, so, so, this is what I like about it, and if you're into these things, then you'll probably like it too, and that's nice. It's, instead of just being like, oh, well, you should watch this because it's good, because I said so. And if you don't, then, you know, you're a terrible person. Like, I don't, I don't need to be told I'm bad because you don't like my anime choices. Listen, it's anime. It's ridiculous and weird most of the time. Just let me be happy. <sighs> um, a thing I struggled with this in this piece is that a lot of the highlights in AKB are heart-shaped. So you can tell, like, her eye shine, I made it a heart shape. But they also have, like, a little heart-shaped highlights in their hair. And so I kind of... And I put that in 
because I feel like it's sort of vital to the character design of that series, but I don't know if I... Like, it doesn't look weird, per se, in the anime, and maybe it's just because, like, I got used to it after a while, but, like, I don't think I pulled it off very well, and that might be just because it's been forever since I've actually watched the anime, and so I'm just not used to seeing it anymore. But I, I do like the idea of taking something, like, stylized, when you, like, have something really stylized like anime, and, like, changing the, the shape of the, like, highlights into, like, little hearts or stars or whatever. I think it's fun, and it kind of adds some character and sort of emphasizes the stylized nature of your art piece. I think a lot of the stuff I've been doing recently is very, uh, like, I guess semi-realistic? It's, it's a lot more realistic than anime generally is, or cartoons in general. Um, so it's nice to do something that's just, just really, like, not that. Because it's just, it's fun to experiment. It's fun and, you know, I think this piece ended up really well. Even if I'm just like, I don't know if I pulled off that heart thing very well. Like, even if I feel like I didn't, yeah, no, sorry. I'm repeating myself. I'll try and cut that out. So, yeah, but I think in the end this piece turned out really well. Even if I think I maybe didn't do the best job with the little heart highlights, it was still fun and it still looks nice overall. And it was a good time. I had a good time making it, even if I realized too late that uh, I should have pulled up a reference picture of her outfit. Uh, thing is, the ribbon is where the ribbon is where I screwed up <laughs> the most. She's also got like an extra like skirt layer that I did not include because I uh, did not pay attention. Like I just look at reference pictures, kids. Reference pictures. I mean, at least I got her hair right. I think that's... Since they all sort of wear similar outfits, they all have like... Like individual details that are unique to each character in the show, but... The most distinctive thing about them is really their hairstyles, because they are a, a, a pop idol group. So there is a certain amount of uniformity to their appearance, but they all have different hairstyles, like drastically different. And so I'm glad I got that right. Because <laughs> I think if I hadn't mentioned anything, unless you were like really hardcore into this series, you probably wouldn't have noticed that her outfit's not super accurate. But I said something. I had to go and say something. Which is apparently the story of my life. <laughs> Yeah, look, I messed up this thing in this art piece that no one would have noticed except that I talked about it in the voiceover to the speed paint. I, if it's not obvious, I don't script these things. I just talk at the mic while the video plays in the background. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of fun. I guess my friend Emily mentioned that she feels like she's learning a lot about me through this, so that's why I keep doing it. I might experiment and try one that's just like some brief talking in the beginning and end and maybe just sound like background music the rest of the time. Maybe. I don't know. As bad as I am at these voiceovers, I actually kind of enjoy doing them, so... I guess you're stuck with me.
in the corner. It's also surprisingly hard to like get the colors right on a glowy blob, but I think I think I did a good no I think I did a good job in the end. It, it looks like it's actually a thing that is glowing as opposed to a solid weird just green blob up in the corner. KB0048. Hope you had a good time. And yeah, I post videos once a week, so subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye!